So, I am back. It has been a week, and a very interesting week, especially the weekend, um, and Thursday included. But, um, so yeah, so if you missed my video last week, I made predictions for what I think is going to happen this week with, um, for week one in the NFL, and, um, five people saw it. Nice. Um, it got a like on it too, so that, that's pretty nice. And, uh, the, the predictions, however, weren't great. Um, I got ten right. I got six wrong. Um... So yeah, and then at the end, with my bet prediction on bet of the day or whatever you want to call it, who to bet on, um, I was one and one technically. I with my two for sure bets, I got I got one wrong. Um, I said Philly was gonna destroy Washington, didn't happen. But uh, but then uh, I got the Pittsburgh one, Pittsburgh one right. But then um, if you also just go and listen, I list a few others and I got all the rest of those ones right. So. So yeah, so now we're going to head into week two of this, and uh, let's get, get into it. So the first game this week is the Cincinnati Bengals at the Cleveland Browns, and um, I, I don't know. I think this one's going to be just about even. Cleveland is the much better team on paper, but the Bengals played so much better than Cleveland did, and so I'm going to give it to Cincinnati. I think mainly because I want them to win. I would love it if they won. It is a battle of former number one overall picks, um, Burrow and Baker. But, um, yeah, I'm going to give it to Cincinnati, mainly because I just want to see them win. Uh, the next, the then on to the Sunday games, we have the New York Giants at Chicago Bears. I think this one's fairly simple. Chicago's going to take it. Um, if they can play like they did in that fourth quarter against Detroit, they will be one of the better teams and competing with Green Bay in that NFC North. But I don't expect that all the time. But against New York, I expect it here, and I think they're going to go and get to 2-0. and Next, the Los Angeles Rams take on their second NFC East opponent in the Philadelphia Eagles. And I have the Rams winning again. Uh, Philly just looks so disappointing on Sunday. It's so disappointing. They got off to that lead, and then they blew it to Washington. To Washington. So, uh, yeah, Los Angeles, I think, should take this fairly easily. Um, their offense, it'll be an interesting matchup when Los Angeles is on offense, but their defense against Philly's offense is just, Los Angeles is fairly, fairly talented. Uh, next, we have the Atlanta Falcons at the Dallas Cowboys. Um... I don't know. I like I like both of these teams. I think on built a little similarly, um, it, like offen offensive wise, you got your star quarterbacks, fairly good running backs, and then a solid wide receiving core. Um, uh, Dallas's defense is a little better. It took a huge hit, a huge hit with Leighton Van Der Esch, um, broken collarbone. I think is what it is. It's about something in the shoulder. If I remember correctly, and um, see he's out, but I still think Dallas will win it. It'll be a very close one. It'll be a very close game. But if they do end up losing this game, I'm not gonna pick them out again for any close, close games. Like if they play someone like um, see I don't remember their exact schedule, but if they play somebody even like Minnesota, I would like Minnesota's chances. Um. Yeah, but that's that's if they lose. I think they win. I, I, I it's, I'm fairly confident they'll win. But Atlanta also looked fairly good on Sunday. Uh, next up, Carolina Panthers at Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Records are the same, but this game's not going to be close. Uh, Car Tampa Bay didn't play well against New Orleans. Granted, a lot of teams don't, but um, they really did not play up to expectations. Um, neither did Carolina Panthers for me, and Matt Rule did not look very, like, he, Matt Rule didn't look like a good hiring, which I was kind of disappointed in, because I, I liked watching, uh, Coach Baylor, so, um, I, but Tampa Bay's gonna take it, like, I, they're just so, so much more talented, and against the Carolina Panthers team, that offense is just gonna explode, so Tampa Bay will get, 
their first win, Brady's first win outside of New England. Then we move on to San Francisco 49ers at the New York Jets. And, uh, yeah, San Francisco's going to take it. I, the New York Jets are the worst team in football. I'm, I'm just going to say, the Jets are the worst team in football. Yeah, 49ers win. Um, next, Denver Broncos at Pittsburgh Steelers. This will be interesting. Um, not, Pittsburgh played fairly well against the Giants. Um, not as good I was hoping as I was hoping they would do, but um, fairly well. And Denver hung in there with Tennessee. I they should have been blown out. Maybe not blown out. Should have lost by quite a bit more. But thanks to um, some special team miscues by um, or mishaps by the Titans. It got saved a little bit, but um, Pittsburgh's going to end up taking it. Um, I, yeah, I don't know what I'll say. Uh, their de- Pittsburgh's defense is better than Denver's. Their offense is better, so they're just overall better. Um, now, this is, in, this is the first matchup between undefeated teams. All the other games, at least one team had one loss. But this game... No, I would not have thought this would be the game, the first game to be an undefeated, um, undefeated matchup. It's the Jacksonville Jaguars at the Tennessee Titans. I, I did not think I would ever say those two teams would be undefeated, even though it's only week two. Um, but I think Tennessee is going to take it. I had Jacksonville losing last week to the Indianapolis, Indianapolis Colts who I had lower than Tennessee to begin with, so Tennessee's a better team. Uh, Jacksonville just has no one to stop Derrick Henry. Derrick Henry should have a field day. But um, I would love to see Jacksonville win. I just it's I don't think it's going to happen. So then we move on. NFC North battle. We have the Detroit Lions at Green Bay. And Green Bay's just going to wipe the floor with them. If they can... What they did to Minnesota who has a very solid defense and Aaron Rodgers still did all that. Imagine what he's going to do to Detroit. Their defense isn't great. Their best cornerback is a rookie. Matt Patricia is a great defensive minded coach, but his team just doesn't back him up this year. And Green Bay is just going to wipe him. It's, it's going to not even be close. Um, next AFC East battle. Um, Buffalo Bills at Miami Dolphins. Buffalo. Miami is the second worst team in football. Buffalo. Um, next, Minnesota Vikings at Indianapolis Colts. Both were fairly disappointing to me in week one. But um, overall, Minnesota was less disappointing as they lost to a good team, whereas Indianapolis lost to Jacksonville. So I'm going to go ahead and give this one to the Minnesota Vikings as I think they are a significantly better team than the Indianapolis Colts. Jonathan Taylor should see a step up in a role, uh, as should Naheem, Naeem Hines. will take a huge step up as Marlon Mack went down. But um, should be a very interesting game to watch. Now, uh, the second undefeated, <laughs> undefeated battle, again, not one I ever thought would happen. The Washington football team, 1-0, at the Arizona Cardinals, 1-0. And Arizona, is, their offense is going to love it. It'll be a fun day for um, for the DeAndre Hopkins, Christian Kirk. Um, it, Kenyon Drake will have fun. Kyler Murray will have fun. Well, he, he does have to worry a little bit about um, Chase Young. But Arizona's... Just they're just not even close to the same level. It's yeah. Um, next, probably the most interesting matchup, quarterback wise or like star player wise, uh, we have Lamar Jackson versus Deshaun Watson, Baltimore at Houston, and um, I'm not high on Houston this year. I think they're they'll be lucky to get into the playoffs. I believe, like their only way in is to win the division. That's their only way in. And I have Baltimore winning this game, not easily, but it's not going to be too big of a challenge. Uh, next, I have Kansas City. At, next is Kansas City at Los Angeles Chargers. 
Kansas City is going to win. I don't think the Chargers deserve to win against the Bengals. Uh, they got a little bit lucky uh, at the end with um, with that injury to the, dang it, who's their kicker? I forgot who the uh, Cincinnati Bengals kicker was, but he went down with injury, missed the last second kick. Um, but yeah, they're going to struggle so much against Kansas City. It's not it's not going to be good. So then the Sunday night game. I, I, this is the most even game this week, I think, by far. The New England Patriots at Seattle Seahawks. And I went back and forth on who I think is going to win. Um, part of it is because I'm a Patriots fan. That's part of it, probably. Um, but in the end, went with Seattle. They're just, they're just so, they're, what Wilson is just so good. It'll be. I'm looking forward to watching this game. I really am. Um, I hope Cam Newton can step up. I hope our entire team can step up. But Seattle's going to end up taking this one. And then finally, the sole Monday night game is. It'll be intriguing. Um, New Orleans Saints at Las Vegas Raiders. First game in Alien Stadium, I think is the name of it, if I'm not mistaken. And it's going to be an 0-1-1 record there. New Orleans is going to take it. They're just too talented. Um, Josh Jacobs is an interesting one to watch here. He had three touchdowns, if I'm not mistaken, in week one. He will not have three touchdowns. Um, he, I, he'll be lucky to get one. I, just, cause, um, just because of how good this Saints um, front seven is. But um, it'll still be interesting because Las Vegas managed to win last week. Uh, wasn't against a great opponent, but they managed to win. So it should be very interesting, but I have New Orleans winning. So now on to the bets of the day. I heard bets of whatever. I don't have a set one to bet on as these, one, these games are much closer than last week's or... I am filled with a little bit more uncertainty um, than last week, which surprised me because typically weeks one, week one is the one you don't know about. I'm less certain on week two, but I did find four that stood out to me. Um, the first one is the Bills are five and a half point favorites. Again, this is if I'm reading the um, spread right and if I'm understanding this right, which I'm very well might not be, um, but yeah. Bills, five and a half point favorites, should get that fairly easily. They're playing the Dolphins. Granted, the Bills aren't the greatest offensive team, but five and a half should be very doable. Um, the but next is the Buccaneers are nine point favorites. This one I'm a little bit. This is probably the shakiest one out of all of them, I would say. But um, against Carolina, I think they'll win double digits. That's the my reasoning. They'll win double digits, but um, at nine point favorites, I think it's a fairly safe one. But this would be the this is the one I'm a little bit uncertain about. Out out of these four, it's I would much rather bet on this game than even the Bengals and Browns game, or um, the Bears and Giants game. But um, it's the, the most uncertain out of these four. Next, I have the Packers. As six-point favorites against the Detroit Lions, they're going to win by more than touchdown. I feel very confident in this one. Aaron Rodgers is just too good. He's going to win by more than six. And then finally, the 49ers at seven-point favorites. Um, I, I, don't, I can't really say too much about my reasoning for this other than I think they will win by more than by at least seven, especially against the Jets. If I, if this one, if I end up, if this bet is, end up, like, if the 49ers end up losing by, or like, if the Jets are within six points, what, let's see. I can't think of any good wager quite yet, but I would at least be very shocked. Like, I would be, I would question my knowledge of football at that point. If that ended up happening, 
But um, yeah, those are those are my four bets. Um, thank you all very much for watching. That's the end of the video. A little bit longer than last week. I'm sorry, um, but it just ha just how it happened. Um, thank you all very much for watching. Um, please leave a like, subscribe, and adios.